I was in South America for four years. In the village I was in, you had to have a woman, otherwise you were ignored. So I got one. Fast. Where is she now? She's still there. She served her purpose. Well, that's what you want to hear, isn't it? So, yeah, I dumped her. You're very certain of yourself, aren't you, Greg? Well, I'm not. Yes. A few months in this parish, you'll be a lot less certain. A few years... No, I've looked around at other priests. A few and years and you'll be utterly confused. A few years and more... And all those middle-aged, trendy lefties jumping up and down with excitement every time a factory closes. A few closes years or more and you might break just out learn a little bit of humility. empty, fastening onto other people's misery, fighting other people's fights. Anything to fill the emptiness inside. Well, to hell with that. We're priests. We're not bloody social workers. We're priests. Sacraments. Reconciliation, moral guidance. That's our job, moral guidance, for God's sake, Matthew. Moral guidance from a man with a bit on the side. Is she gonna judge? She should know all the facts. We love each other. He's asked me to marry him. That means I'm leaving the priesthood, so I've said no. Well, not because I'm a martyr to the faith. It's because one day he might regret it, and I don't want to see that look in his eyes if he does. Anything else he should know? Oh, yeah. I seduced him. He didn't seduce me. I've got a few bobs stashed away, and I'm in a pension scheme and work, so I won't be destitute when he pops his clogs. Anything else you want to know, I'll be out there washing your pots and pans, Taking a scrub and brush to your underpants. Okay. Love who you want, when you want. Get out. I can't get out. God wants me to be a priest. <laughs> 